Hello, it's Bethany. I am a lower elementary Montessori teacher and today I'm going to show you my math shelves. So in a completely different video, I did my geometry shelves, which you can see. And first we have the short and long B chains. Um, I got a new set last year, so that was exciting. I had the old ones for so long and I finally got a new set that has everything, you know. And so um, I just like having it in there. The first, some of the kids do still like doing the chains. It's funny, when I worked at a different Montessori school, like we never did chains in elementary. And I'm working at a, a different Montessori school that I've been at for a few years now. The kids like doing the chains because I think they promote them a lot in three to six. So they do them there. And then when they get here, they'll say, well, I was on chain eight. Let me do chain eight or things like that, which is very interesting to me to see just the changes. I mean how different different programs at different you know anyway so I got new chains and I like it for the decanomial layout when you do the ones where you change it all of the squares and you could see um the layout when you change it into how it lays on the beads in uh like the outside of the rectangle halves you know so I like having it in here before, for that reason and the cubes and the squares and just doing the work in general the works that they like to do and now we get to the shelves, which are right here. Um, I have this small and large bead frame. The um, These things, these are for upper L actually. And um, they're the pieces like this and the white and yellow one with the green. And then, oh my goodness, I'm blinking on what this is called. <laughs> But we do have one of these. We also have the 312 um, somewhere. So we have those laid out. And then um, I have bar graph work, 100 chart, 100 chart, the dot game, and then the decanomial paper on the top. But I'll go in order now. So we have the numbers, but then we have the numeration. I do have a teen and a 10 board in here. I have little magnet things with the numbers if they wanted to do um, addition, I mean, adding, subtracting, multiplying, or dividing, like that, but there's the teen and the 10 board. Um, here's the 100 board I have, and then the Pythagoras board for multiplication is there. And then we get down into, like, ordinal and cardinal numbers, and then, oop, ordinal and cardinal numbers, and measurements, so volume, measurements, like length, and everything. And then clockwork, coin work, and more um, teaspoon measuring and then these are Roman numerals and then I have multiple colored bead drawers and then the stamp games and then these are um, different things so like greater and less than minus division equals times things like that just math symbols and then the golden beads so this is like numeration time winning measurement type of things and then I like how I have it laid out over here with addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. So um, on my work plan, I have the kids do a math card every day. So they pick the math card like this. If you want these specific cards, they're in my free resource hub of Montessori resources. So you can look at that, but these are also, cause it just is math card. So they can pick this one or they can do like a math card here. This is good for like the first years. If they aren't adding like this yet, they can do some math cards here so they can still like get their work done, you know? And then all the finger charts and the um, strip board, addition strip board, and the pieces. First years at the end of the year, like first graders, love missing number addition. They just love it. So many kids do it all the time. I don't know why it's, well, it's good, right? But <laughs> they like the missing number addition and then the tiles for the boards. And then we come to subtraction or subtraction cards, subtraction finger charts loose equations which there's more in the other drawer and then I do have the addition snake game that goes usually up here but a teacher one of the um, early childhood teachers borrowed it I believe at the end of the year so I didn't get it back but that's okay because they can also use the subtraction snake game and you could just like flip this one out for that one but these cards are in my paid for Montessori activities if you want addition snake game cards and then there's some second level and yeah these are second level ones i used to have third level ones here if they wanted to pick a math card but then multiplication cards the tiles the boards for multiplication and then the 
banker's game, golden bead frame, and then you might say, well, where's the checkerboard? My checkerboards are up here right now, but they go here so the kids can reach them. And I have a few more um, boards here. Most of those are, are for like upper L with the decimals, but some third years get to them. And also this one I know is for decimals for upper L, but sometimes the kids might be able to get there. So we have them in here just in case. And then division. So division cards, loose equation division, the finger charts, everybody's favorite work that spills all over the floor every single time. The test tube division. I finally trying to start to put saran wrap over them, but as you can see, and then like the division bead boards and all the division things for this one. And then for math also, I like that I have these drawers. This is where like the writing and stuff was, but I'm gonna change some writing things to over there. So we will see if I still use those. But for addition, we just have extra addition materials here. It's not organized, <laughs> but that's what we have. Subtraction, I just like how they match the colors. Multiplication, again, not too organized. And division, and this is numeration. Um, so there's like a big number chart, some extra pieces, um, and things like that, like for the banker's game. Mm, these look cool. I should look at those to see what those are. <laughs> I guess I don't know. But then also in this one, I forgot to show you. This is the um, Infinity Street. Okay, that's a bad cutout of it. <laughs> I have better pieces. But like, if you haven't heard of Infinity Street, it's like you can get your numbers not to non-alien. So that's awesome. And they have, well, I don't know where I specifically got this one from, but you could look, just look up Infinity Street and um, it's cool because you lay out the pieces. It's definitely online. You know what I want to get for math is the the big, um, like the um, the millions cube. I know we have the hundreds cube. Let me see. There's a search. Search. Aha, found one. Like this. So you put like, eight. let's just say this was on the smallest yellow one. Then you could put like a bead and if you put the beads i don't know i like this work and i hadn't done it too much so that just gets the beads it's our then it would be like 827 and i think that's just so much fun in a different way the um older kids like to read larger numbers but yeah there's still things that i could get let's just put these back in the right spots yes so very well if you have any questions about anything let me know in the comments Thank you.